Hello and welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hydef and I'm here to bring you the next video in the ZM Map Pack series. This one, as you can see, is going to be ZM Court. So I hope you guys enjoy. So we'll start off. Um, as you can see, it's obviously a, uh, a port and it takes place right next to uh, Coagulation or Hemorrhage or Blood Gulch, whatever you want to call it, in this area here by the cliffs. So as you can see, there are different ships here that you can hold out in. There are docks uh, surrounding the ships, different areas you can hold out in. Uh, these crates are good. Uh, an aesthetic fix fish sign with a market, presumably that's where they sell stuff. And then inside here, you have basically a, a small restaurant. In the back, they have the, uh, the deep fryers and stuff like that, or the grill. Then you get a small refrigerator there, and a window here, which will prove useful, as you'll see in the future. So as you can see, these different crates you can hold out in, people are doing that. There's, uh, there's ammo scattered all around the map, and um, Sniper will actually spawn there. Uh, as you can see, there is shotgun here. Over on this ship, there'll be assault rifle ammo, etc. Over in the belly of this ship is where the rocket spawned. And um, also an important thing to note is underwater, there is a grid, so you can go there. But it does have a soft kill, so you want to make sure um, if you go in the water, uh, you have a limited time. So there are only a couple places for you to hop on, like these rocks here, over by onto the docks, you can get back up. Um, or you can go like areas like that corner, use the shield doors or back here. So as you can see there's a couple ways to get back up but you want to make sure you're not jumping into the water blindly because sometimes people have a hard time getting up and end up drowning. So as you can see the zombies spawn here one teleporter will take them over there um, and the teleporter on the right of the image so you can see they're going through will take them actually on top of that roof so that's a very useful. So as a zombie when you're spawning up there you can choose where you're going where you want to attack based off where you see the humans from up on that cliff position. You can also run down straight down the cliff and attack this ship that I'm hopping onto right here. As you can see, the last man's going into the water and he's basically got no hope. So let's go ahead and start the next round. Um, an important thing to note about this map is it's maybe the largest in the series and so it offers kind of a different gameplay, nice open sight lines and so you'll see there's less precision weaponry on the map. There is still some, um, but it's more limited and that's what I would recommend um, or that's what would kind of advise me to um, Maybe caution you guys, if you're going to try and play this with alpha zombies with starting pistols, it might be a little um, a little cheap at first when the humans have all pistols and the sight lines are so open. It does work well with the ZM Outbreak game type, which is assault rifle starts, um, because that way assault rifles have pretty limited range. So as you can see, we're moving around, there are different aesthetics around the docks, crates laying around here for line of sight blockers. Um, different sort of towers and stuff like that and you might see teleporters that the zombies can use. And over here I like how this ship uh, came out. It's got a nice rounded feel using those uh, those uh, circular inclined pieces. Uh, those come out really well. And back here this is kind of the where the cabin would be and it's pretty good for holding out. As you can see we're moving all the humans here. Uh, it's a very sizable ship. Um, not much in the way of um, weapons and defenses. So you gotta bring your ammo here and hold out. Um, it, the way it works as a holdout, as a human stronghold, is adva height advantage because the only way the zombies can get in is through a couple different entrances. Uh, as you can see, that zombie came up one. Then over here, um, sort of around where I was standing, there are the shield doors to get up. Zombies can jump through here. There's a zombie trying to do that. We're holding him off. So there's actually about four ways to get up on this ship in different areas, and it's nice having the height advantage, but. It also means sometimes you can't see the zombies as they're sneaking around the bottom of the ship, so that's something you got to be wary of as you're holding out here. You can get pretty easily overrun, especially if the zombies uh, choose the teleporter which brings them closer to the ship. So as a zombie, you want to make sure you're choosing the correct teleporter in order to overrun the humans, uh, just with sheer numbers. So I got taken out there, and I'm spawning, and we're just going to run around and go ahead and try and wipe out the last humans. Uh, in this video, you'll see us holding out on the various ships. Next round, we'll be holding out on this ship. And I think in the final round, we will be holding out in the uh, the restaurant area, which is actually a really nice place to hold out. There you go. Last man is um, is yet to be selected, I think, because he's in the process of joining. Um, but as soon as he joins, we'll take him out, and we will uh, we'll finish him off. It's always a little frustrating when that happens, but as you can see, it didn't take too long this time. And he's welcomed warmly by uh, a whole host of zombies. So he's not going to last very long. So that's about it, guys, for my highlight of ZM Port. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy uh, Infection Week. So thanks, guys. See you all. Signing out.